back and I decided today to do a plum fall look um, and this is the look that I came up with and I just figured I'd do this um, since we're changing over to fall season I figured this would be a good color palette to do a look for so if you're interested in getting this look I do a talk through on how to achieve it and what products that I use so keep watching okay guys so let's get started first I'm just going to take an elf concealer and I'm going to just place this all over my lid and use it as an eyeshadow base and I'm just blending that in with my finger just so I don't get any creasing next I'm going to go in with a MAC flat shader brush and the color soft matte brown and here's a description of the back of it and what the color looks like and I'm just gonna gently be patting this color onto the base of my lid I'm not gonna go above my bottom lid so I'm just kind of using the patting effect so it packs on so you can see the color because it's very faint um, soft brown Then from here, I'm going to be taking a MAC 217 brush, it's like this, and the color Girly. This is like a little bit of an iridescent baby pink shade, and I'm going to be blending that into my crease. So I'm going to start right above the lid and blend up throughout my crease towards my upper brow bone. So you just want to do short strokes. Stay light handed so that it blends really well. So I'm just going to go in both eyes with that. Then from here I'm going to be taking another shader brush. This is just a black Sephora. Um, crease brush and this is the color sketch from MAC it is a deep plum and it has a little bit of like a glitter into it I'm gonna be making a V shape starting from the outer crease of my eye so I'm gonna make kind of like a V do a straight line and then bring it in towards your lid and I'm just going to be blending that in little by little so it looks almost like a V or a C or whatever you want to call it and I'm going to be working that in packing most of the color on your outer V the outer crease of your eye is where I'm packing the majority of the color and then I'm just blending it inward so I'm going to do that on both sides I always feel like this is easier to do on my left eye than my right eye. My crease on my left eye just feels, or maybe it's just because I'm right handed and I'm crossing over, I'm not really sure. But I'm just blending that color in. This is like such a pretty color. I'm like loving the plums and the baby pinks together right now. So I'm going to drag that a little more than halfway in on my lid. This is the look you should get. And after this, I'm going to be going back in with that 217 brush and that color we used in the crease, the girly, which is the baby pink. And I'm just going to kind of do soft strokes to blend those two colors together so that there's no harsh lines. This will just kind of soften that outer crease up a little bit. So this is the look that you should get. So from this point, then I'm going to take a floof, which is a iridescent, um, like a white color. Not really white, I'm going to say like off-white. And this small flat shader brush. And I'm going to be doing this just on the arch of my brow bone towards the outer corner of my brow. And this just kind of gives you a little bit of a highlight. And it has a little bit of a shimmer to it. I pretty much used um, matte colors on the rest, so you can use a little bit of a shimmer for the brow. From here, I'm going to be using that same small flat shader brush, 
And this color is Beautiful Iris. This is a lavender. I love, love, love this color. And I'm going to be using this on the inner tear duct, tear duct of my eye. And this just kind of brightens your eye a little bit, opens it up. And working it just a little bit in on my lower lash line. Now I'm going to be using a MAC pencil brush and that same dark plum color sketch. And I'll be doing this on my lower lash line and working it towards the inner corner of my eye. You can skip this step if you want to do more of like a daytime look and you don't want the darkness on your lower lash line. But this is what it should look like when you finish that step. So that pretty much is it for the shadow. Now from here I'm going to be going in with my uh, black. Go in with my NC25 foundation and I'm just going to be highlighting this area because I already had my foundation on from earlier um, but I'm just going to highlight around underneath my eyes the top of my nose and then on the bottom of my chin and center of my forehead and I'm using the MAC foundation brush for this as well And I'm just going to apply my mineralized uh, powder over top of that just to kind of set it. Then I'm going to be using a bronzer. This is an NYC bronzer that I'm using. And I'm going to be contouring to give my face a little more shape because I do have more of a round face. So I'm just kind of sucking my cheeks in and going along that line with my bronzer to give my face a little thinner of a look and kind of working that up towards my cheekbone. I'm going to also do the sides of my nose and then I do like down the sides of my neck just so that it blends all together. From here I'm going to be using, this is a Wet n Wild lip liner. I actually just got this. It's called Plumberry. I'm going to be just lining my lips with this color and I'm going to start with a really thin line and then I actually kind of turn my liner to the side so that it blends in a little bit. It's a really pretty color. And then I'm going in with my CoverGirl lipstick and this color is Divine. It's like a lavender purple but when you put it on it looks almost magenta. It's really like a satiny lipstick and moisturizing. I love it. I love this color with this shadow combination. So after you've finished that, this is the look. And I'm going to be going in with some uh, mascara just on my bottom lashes. As most of you know, I do have the lash extensions on. So I don't have to put mascara on the top. But I'm just using my telescopic black. So this is the look that I came up with. And that's pretty much it. That's step by step of how to achieve it. Cheese! Give you a little up close look there. And the colors really, really look great in the daylight. They're a really pretty combination. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on the um, plum makeup look that I came up with. And leave a comment below and let me know any other looks that you're interested in seeing and what kind of Halloween looks that you guys may want to see. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much.